What you want to wanna be when you grow up? I want to be a motherfucking hustler. You better ask somebody. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. All right, so today we're going to be discussing a retrofit that was done a while ago, and that was the ADS. Uh, since my car was a base model, I did not have ADS built in with the MMI, so I don't have the function of the suspension, but the motor and steering as well as transmission functions do work with the ADS. Uh, my old coworker installed the wiring for it. I used the Kufatec harness. Um, from what I remember, it just plugged into power. Uh, one went to uh, module and the other one went to the switch itself. Pretty simple, plus some coding in VADCOM, nothing too crazy. But now it gives me the ability to change the steering feel if I want it to be heavier or softer, as well as the transmission. Uh, transmission really just sticks in sport mode the whole time, which I don't really care about. Um, the other thing we're gonna talk about is the right-hand drive uh, coin holder. Because on my car, we had to delete the electronic parking brake because of the big brakes. So I ended up getting a right-hand drive coin holder to fill that hole so I don't have an empty button there. So since my car is still apart, got the shifter surround here, non-MMI, so I have the button right there. Like I said, controls the transmission, some motor controls, which don't really matter since I have the APR tune on there, as well as the steering. The steering is really the thing I care about. Uh, I have it defaulted to a heavier steering, but just in case, it's nice to be able to push the buttons to change it instead of you know, having to go into that common recode it, which is what I was previously doing. And here you see the right hand drive coin holder, it goes right into the e-brake slot. It's OEM part, fits like OEM. Since I do have the Accuair controller mounted where the original coin holder goes for left hand drive. Not that I use the coin holder, but I don't like having buttons that are just there not doing anything. The plan is to one day retrofit a electronic parking brake back into the big brake kit, but that's for the future. For 15 bucks, this looks a lot better than a useless button. So I know it was another short video, just trying to cover all the bases again. Um, personally, I like having the little OEM Plus retrofit, uh, the little subtlety of the coin holder. Just something really, you know, small, simple, but really effective for what I wanted. Uh, like I said, I don't like buttons that don't work, so I do everything that I can to make sure that I have functional buttons all the way around or just remove them. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Takes one skip, trip, one skip, one skip, one skip, Yo, one skip, just takes the one fuck, skip. Man. You are fucking up, bro. Get it together, man. Get your shit together. Come on.